Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a bill of material from one of our assemblies. You'll find this really easy to deal with inside of Top Solid 7. Here's how. I'm going to go to my project tree, select the assembly that I'd like to create a bill of material for, and right mouse button click on it. And as you can see, the contextual smart menu pops up, and I have the choice Bill of Material. From here, a window is going to pop up and allow me to choose either a standard top solid supply bill of material or a bill of material that's in my default project. In this case, you're going to choose the demo BOM that's part of the project. From here, you just need to validate that you want to build a BOM for this assembly. And like that, the assembly is done. If we look here, you can see the default quantities of everything. You can see the names of the parts, the descriptions, the material everything is made of, what the total weight is of each object, which is kind of cool. So each object plus the weight of the, the whole assembly, and all the other pertinent information that we put into the properties of each of these parts. And like that, your build material is complete. All you need to do is save it. By the way, any changes that happen to any of the parts will automatically update this bill of material. As well, you can use the bill of material to browse through all of your parts. Here's what I mean. Let's say I would like to see the design file for the thread rod. Well, instead of worrying about where it's at in my tree, I can just go to my bill of material here and double left click on it, and it just opened up my thread rod. Pretty cool. I can do that for anything, the sliding jaw, what have you. This is just showing you another way that Top Solid 7 makes your life easier.